Alright, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to dynamically set and get the uh, profile titles on every, each individual uh, profile page uh, by getting the user's information from the database. And we're also going to dynamically set uh, meta tags for this person's uh, profile, uh, so the, the description and keyword meta tags. So what we're going to do in our profile page where we have our title just being set, what I'm going to do is after we do that, um, I'm going to take our get ID that we have down here, I'm going to cut it out so we can put it up here and get rid of the extra spacing. So what we want to do is we want to first, we want to say if, and we want to say if get ID is present. So if we have our ID from the URL, um, but if we don't, we want to say else, and our else is going to be title equals basic nick profiles. So if there's no ID, then we're going to set it to basic nick profiles. And actually, I think, yeah. So we'll we'll change that later, but just for now, that's what it's going to be set to. So after we've uh, made sure we have our get ID variable, what we're going to do is we need to connect to our database. So require, and we want our. You can actually just copy the link from down here, the code from down here, because it's, it's literally right there. Um, so we want to connect to our database, and then we also want to close the connection. So after we do that, inside of here, we want to create a query. So query equals mysql underscore query. So what our query is going to say is we're going to essentially, it's essentially going to be the exact same query we have down here, which you can just copy it and paste it in. So we're getting our information from the database, and we're going to say if, um, so if our get ID is valid, then we're going to, to check that, we're going to say if numrows so right there, if numrows and equals equals one. So if the user ID is found in the database, um, we're going to run this block of code, whatever it's going to be in here. But if it's not, then we're going to say else. We're going to set our title equal to, um, what was the, what, what is, do we display? Uh, no user was found. Okay, so... If the title, or if the user is not found in the database, we're going to say, oops, the profile you were looking for, actually, uh, oops, profile not found. So if it is found, which means numrows would return the value of 1. Um, then what we want to do is we want to set our fetch a sock. So we're going to say dollar sign row equals, we help if I can type right, equals mysql underscore fetch underscore a sock. And inside of here we have our query. And after that, what we want to do is we want to get the username. So user underscore name, or actually we'll just say user equals dollar sign row. And inside of here is username. So we're getting the username from the database, and what we're going to do is we're going to set our title equal to, uh, and then we're going to say dollar sign user uh, apostrophe s, so user's profile on basicnick.com. So it's dynamically setting our title there. Now, if you want to set our dynamically set the meta tags using um, info from the database, we'll set our description, and we're also going to need the keywords if you would like to set them. So, if you want to get more information from the database, for example, if we get our bio, which, what is it, it's bio, yeah, it's bio, so if we get our bio from the database, and if we set our bio as say our description, so dollar sign bio as our description, 
then whatever the person's bio is, that'll be set dynamically as the description for their profile. And obviously, if you go in and change that, it'll automatically uh, change it for viewing uh, your profile. Now, if you wanted, you could also say, uh, have their first name and last name. Um, obviously, not necessarily required. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the username, or the YouTube, the YouTube username. And I'm going to set that as a keyword. So, but obviously, if a uh, YouTube username is not there, then it just won't have it there at all. Um, I guess that's good for now. Um, set dynamically sets all of our information. So if we upload our profile page, and after we upload it, if we go and refresh the page, so we have Basic Nick's profile on basicnick.com, and if we hit Control U, we have our name here. We have um, I'm the site admin. I made this site, and if we scroll down, that is what the um, description is or the bio is set as. And also, if we look at the keywords, we have, uh, I actually set these as my default keywords, right there. And then we have, from right there, that's the YouTube username. So, that is uh, dynamically getting and setting our uh, profile information. So, if we go to a recent user, say this person, so we have their... Um, description or bio is web designer. If we hit control U to view our source, we have the description set to web designer. And we scroll all the way over, they don't have a um, um, a YouTube username entered. So obviously we're dynamically, and you can also see the title up here, so we're dynamically getting and setting our title and our meta tags for our description and our keywords which uh, makes it more user-friendly and search engine-friendly. I have no idea why this isn't loading now. There we go. So this will conclude this video. Um, in the next video, we're going to dynamically get our meta tags for the videos page. So check that out. All right, what's up? Uh, this video, we're going to... A uh, really quick video on how to dynamically get and set our new meta tags that we have um, that we've gotten. So what we're going to do is inside of our videos page here, we've already connected to our database and everything because we're dynamically getting the title and the, uh, and the username of the video who uploaded it, or the person who uploaded it or added it to the archive, and then we're setting that as our title. Um, but what we're also going to do is we're going to get our meta tags and set our meta tags. So description... And we're also going to set our keywords tag. <clears throat> so, this video is actually not two parts. It's the pro dynamic profile meta tags and dynamic video meta tags. One video combined together. Um, so, what we need to do is when we're getting all our information, we want to get our keywords. Um, from our database, and we can actually just copy that and paste it. Um, and obviously, we want to set our meta keywords as the keywords that the user entered. So, whatever keywords you would enter while adding a video, they would dynamically set as the meta tags, helping your video be found um, on the website. Um, <clears throat> what you could do is you could add the description, um, which is what we're going to do, but to an extent. We're going to take the description, and we're going to chop it down. So we're going to make it a lot shorter, because, for example, in this video, it's getting all the links and everything that I've set. So we don't want to have all these links and everything in the description for the meta tags. So we're going to cut it down to maybe, I don't know, 100 characters or something like that. Um, actually... Instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the description as the title. It's going to be our title. And we actually need to set our title last thing then. So we're going to have a title by username. And it's going to have our date. 
So we need to get the date from the database. So it's getting the title and the username and the date it was uploaded. So if we upload our videos file, and after we upload, if we refresh this page, and pause this video. Um, so if we refresh the page and hit Control U to view our source code, we have our description being set as our title by the username and the date it was uploaded. And then if we scroll all the way over, we have our keywords here, right there. So it's dynamically setting the keywords and everything. Whoops. Um, so yeah. So that concludes this video on how to dynamically set the keywords for videos.